And you're telling me that I should take these two databases and run them on the one machine? Let's go back to multi-tenant. You get three for free, but obviously, if you're going to have two different databases that used to be separate, now sitting as pluggables inside one container, people come to me, they say, you know, this pluggable stuff, I've got one database which is a thing of beauty. It's running SQL, in wrapped in Peel SQL, using great connection pooling. The, con the performance is level and consistent. I love that database, so well written. The problem is, like everyone, we also have other databases in our company which are the same size, but the code is junk. Spaghetti code, the performance is just all over the shop. And you're telling me that I should take these two databases and run them on the one machine in the one container? You know what's gonna happen? That spaghetti one that chews up all the resources is gonna absolutely just grow and grow and smash my beautiful database. My one remaining database that runs great and is well written is gonna get consumed by this hideous monstrosity that consumes all my resources. Now in 12.2, we gave the ability to do things like set the CPU count at a pluggable level and also set the maximum IOPS to restrict them. That still means you're sort of back to that old age problem of how many databases can I put on a server? I have to sort of size the server for the maximum usage. I've just moved that problem to become a pluggable issue now. Well, let's say we've got three pluggables. This one, you can see the size of the little database is roughly how much CPU it uses on average, but sometimes it peaks up to the top of the square. This one uses less CPU on average, but sometimes it has a bigger peak. And this one uses a tiny amount of CPU, but say on the weekends, it goes bang. If they're all going to become pluggables, have I got the same problem? If I set the CPU here, the first one CPU is four, second one CPU is three, third one just one CPU, then when they need those spikes, they're going to struggle. But if I set them at their maximum, six, eight, and 12 CPUs, then when that 12 CPU one is absolutely smashed in the system, maybe those other two aren't going to be able to get they're six or eight. I've got that same sizing problem. In 20C, not only do we have CPU count now, which we always had, we have CPU min count. So you can now set a low and high range for the amount of CPUs that a pluggable will get, therefore guaranteeing some service whilst also being able to cap a maximum. You now can have a lot more confidence in jamming lots of pluggables onto a single container on a single server because you get that lovely control at the plug or level of what they can do to those machines resources.